Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing because we always have lots of fun stuff going on here on my channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But today I am super excited to do an unboxing of our magic bands, which came in the mail yesterday. And just to have a little chat about traveling to Disney and my upcoming trip that I'm planning, which has been altered many times. A while back, I shared with you guys a trip announcement and there have been some changes to it. So I wanted to share that with you as well. So first let's get started with opening up these magic bands because I'm really anxious <laughs> to see what they look like. And now Disney charges for magic bands. If you're not aware, you don't get them for free anymore, but they're relatively inexpensive and there are a lot to choose from. And I also noticed, oh, look at how cool. I love this. I always love opening it up and like seeing the castle and it says, let your vacation fun begin. Here they are, I'm gonna take them all out to show you. But they are relatively inexpensive. Oftentimes they have sales. And also if you consistently check the My Disney Experience app once you book your trip or once I book your trip, <laughs> you can go over to the app and there is an area where it says select your magic bands and they are changing all of the time. And what I have to say is if you see one that you really love, I would recommend getting it right away because oftentimes they do also sell out. So let me show you all of the magic bands that me and my family purchased. I'm gonna take out this whole thing here. Oh, they're so cute. I am loving Madison's, okay. And you can also get more than one. On our last trip, I got a couple and you can use them as well over and over again. So I have magic bands from previous trips that I'm going to be bringing on our upcoming trip. All right, so I'm going to show you what they look like one by one and then I will talk to you guys a little bit about our trip and the changes that are being made. So for my son, Patrick, he has this really cool ESPN magic band, which I thought was really nice for a teenage boy because it's not too like kiddish and it says legends play here, ESPN wide world of sports and it's a black band. So he was excited about this. And then my 10 year old daughter, Madison, I think she got the cutest band. I really like this one. It's the Disney's Snacks Band. And if you can see, this will focus for me. It has all of the Mickey bars and it has pretzels and cookies and just like all kinds of fun Disney snacks on this pretty lavender band. So I thought that one was really, really cute. And then my husband doesn't even know that I got this because he was like, I don't care about a magic band. I'll just use an old one. And I saw this one. It was really cheap. I forget how much exactly. It might have been less than $10. And I thought it was very appropriate. It says current mood <laughs> with a picture of Grumpy. And then it just has all of these words like sulky, mad, grouchy, grumpy. <laughs> Anyway, and it's just like a basic dark gray. I just thought that was perfect, not too over the top Disney or kiddish or anything like that. So yeah, I think he's going to like that one. And then I'll do mine last, but this one was the one that my daughter Emily got. And it is to infinity and beyond is what it says on the side. And then it is Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And I really like this pretty blue color. And yeah, it's really cute. I'm so excited. It's always fun when you get your magic bands in the mail because it's like a reminder that the trip is coming. <laughs> it's going to be here and that's so much fun. Okay, I loved this one. Again, I got a lot of black. I didn't even realize it at the time, but three of the bands are black. <laughs> so this is a happily ever after magic band. You can see right here, it has the castle and it says happily ever after. On this side, it's Tinkerbell. So I love it. It's just like the Magic Kingdom, the castle, the fireworks, all of my favorite things. So I thought that was really a beautiful band. So yes, we have all of our Magic Bands and it's been about a year from right now when I'm filming this, a year ago around this time, I was in Disney with my girls and we had no idea no idea what the future 
was going to hold. <laughs> so here we are now in the middle of a pandemic and lots of people are booking trips and canceling and rescheduling and pushing it out in hopes that things are going to get better and safer and all of the things, right? So I'm dealing with that as well and I'm dealing with it a lot with my clients obviously as we try to navigate this new and scary world that we live in. So what we ended up doing with our June trip, which we booked a trip for end of June, beginning of July, I have extended it twice already <laughs> because there's so many things that I want to do in Disney and I don't want to feel too rushed. And we are a DVC, so with our vacation club points, since we skipped using points for a year, we have a little bit extra that we were able to use this year. So our seven day trip is now like a 13 day trip, <laughs> which is fine by me. I'm super excited. We're staying at three different resorts. Yes. What I like to do when I go to Disney, especially because I'm a travel agent. If you're new to my channel, I work for a company called Mickey World Travel and we specialize in Disney vacations. So when I do go to Disney, I try to stay at at least two different resorts so that I can experience places that I have never been before. But something that I also have a tendency to do is depending on airfare, if I can save a lot of money by going say a night earlier, it is worth it for me to book a room at like the all-star resort something really on the cheap and spend the night there have my luggage transferred via disney bell service because they're pretty wonderful with that and then start my disney day and then go to like the actual resort that i'm going to be spending most of my time at because i saved a lot of money on airfare by going in the evening, a night earlier, and staying at an all-star resort, especially when you're paying for a family of five. If you're saving, say, 50 to $100 on a person, and you're going to save all of that money, it's so worth it just to spend whatever it was, a couple hundred bucks to stay at the all-star and arrive a night earlier, and then you have like a full Disney day ahead of you. So that's what I did on this trip. So we're going to start our trip with a night at the all-star which i have to say we end up doing that most of the time i feel like most of our family trips begin with one night at the all-star or pop century or something like that and then we'll transfer to another resort so what i am really excited about is on this particular trip we are not only going to be staying at our dvc home resort which is the beach club which as far as i'm concerned is the nicest Disney property. I just love everything about it from the location being so close to Hollywood Studios and Epcot that you can actually walk there and not being a huge fan of Disney transportation, especially now during COVID, having the option to walk to those places is exactly what I would want. So that's perfect. But we are also going to be staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, Savannah View. I've never stayed there before. I have eaten there. We have eaten at Sanaa, which is a really great restaurant on property, but I've never stayed at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So I'm super excited to experience my time there. And the odd thing is, we are not going to be going to any of the Disney parks while we are staying at Animal Kingdom. And it kind of works out well because Animal Kingdom, if you're not too familiar with the layout of the land in Disney, is a pretty good distance from all of the parks other than the Animal Kingdom. So you're nice and close to the Animal Kingdom, but you're going to be taking a bus to the other parks and it's a, a little bit of a drive. So we are going to spend a few days in Universal, which I love Universal as well, especially because of the Harry Potter aspect of it. You guys know if you have been following my channel at all, we are big Harry Potter fans here. By we, I mean me and my daughter Madison. And although Madison has been to Universal, when she went, she was much younger and didn't even know who Harry Potter was. <laughs> so now that she is a Potterhead and totally obsessed with all things Harry Potter, 
I really feel that it is pretty necessary to spend some time in Universal Studios. So we are going to be extending our trip primarily to accommodate a few days in Universal, which I am really looking forward to. And we are going to just be going from the Animal Kingdom Lodge to Universal Studios and back and then we will be over at the Yacht Club and then we'll do our full on immersive Disney vacation. So I am really excited. I have no idea what's going to be open this summer. I am very, very hopeful that Disney is going to start slowly opening more and more things as people are becoming vaccinated and it's going to be the summer. So a lot more outdoor type of things going on, which means less chance of people spreading it as rapidly as they are spreading COVID now because right now in the moment that I am speaking to you guys I believe the numbers are just higher than ever to the point where we are all pretty much terrified to leave our homes <laughs> so I am hoping we're not going to be anywhere near in a place like that this summer. I'm just, I'm really, really hoping that things are going to be better. If you watched my trip announcement that I did way back when I actually began booking this trip, I was very hopeful that we would not be wearing masks in June, thinking there is no way in the world that would be a thing. And now I am most certain that is going to be a thing. And initially, I really did not want to go to the Disney parks if I had to wear a mask because I have a hard time wearing masks. I feel like I can't breathe. I start to get claustrophobic. I get headaches. I get dizzy. Like it's just, it's just not going well for me. So it's a good thing I almost never leave the house, but it's not a game changer for me in regards to like canceling the whole trip. I'm not going to cancel something that I have been looking forward to for so, so long because I have to wear a mask. So I'm going to get some cute Disney masks that match my outfits and I'm gonna go with it. And we're gonna have some great memory maker photos <laughs> that are going to help me and my family remember this most horrible, horrible experience that we all had to go through together. And I just don't even care because I need some Disney magic right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. I know so many people who have been traveling to Disney and they seem to be very, very satisfied with all of the things that Disney is doing to make it safe for their guests from keeping everything extremely sanitary to trying to monitor crowds and keep people socially distanced. I know the masks are really being enforced throughout the parks and the resorts, so they are doing all of the things. The only thing that's disappointing to me is there are probably still this summer going to be some things closed. And right now the monorails are not running on the day that I'm recording this anyway. The monorails are not up and running yet. And a lot of my favorite restaurants are closed and their character dining is a bit different now. Not all of the character dining is open and it's socially distanced seeing the characters and that's throughout the parks, not even just with dining experiences, but also there is no, you know, meet and greet where you're hugging and getting autographs and things like that. And even though I'm not a child, those things are still important to me and they're part of the Disney experience. We're traveling with two families and one of the families has never been to Disney. So I was really hoping that a lot of the character experiences would be coming back into play as well as the fireworks and the shows and like all of the things if you've never been to Disney it would be so much more exciting to see those things also two of my favorite things to see in Disney are closed currently and that is the Beauty and the Beast show at Hollywood Studios as well as Fantasmic in Hollywood Studios. And I feel like a trip is not complete without seeing Fantasmic. So that's really sad. But anyway, we'll see. I'm still hopeful. And you know what? This is not going to be my last time ever going to Disney, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully either. So, you know, there'll, there'll be more trips and I am sure someday everything will be back to the way it was. I hope. I really, really hope. Anyway, 
I just wanted to have a little Disney chat with you guys today and tell you a little bit about our upcoming trip and all of the things I'm looking forward to. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are planning a trip to Disney anytime soon or even better if you have recently been. I would love to know how you felt about being in Disney, especially now while we're dealing with this whole coronavirus thing if you felt safe, um, if you know of anyone who got sick in traveling. I know for me, more so than being in Disney, I do not want to get into a plane right now or onto a bus or anything that is so tight knit quarters with other people and you're all breathing the same air. Like that's the thing that really bothers me the most. And we do have flights booked. So I don't know, like I'm really, really hoping that maybe I will be vaccinated by then and maybe things will be a lot better. We shall see. Anyway, would love to hear from you guys in the comments. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you enjoyed just hearing a little bit <laughs> about Disney today. I certainly enjoyed talking about it. It was the break and escape that I needed from this gloomy, snowy day here in New Jersey. I'm looking out the window and the snow is coming down right now. So this was nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and I will see you all really soon. Bye.